So did you feel the cold front that pushed through this morning? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, a little cooler sure. than yesterday. We were looking at daytime highs in the 60s today, but big warm up on the horizon for us tomorrow. But then the weekend arrives and that's when things get interesting around here, as always, right? <laughs> this is our live view earlier this afternoon out at City Park. I want to put it into motion because we certainly had to deal with a few clouds today. But now this afternoon, a little bit of sunshine, some blue skies out there. Completely different story, however, in northern Colorado, where we're watching some scattered showers and even some thunderstorms cruising off the foothills onto uh, the northern plains. 61 degrees, that was our official high out at DIA. Certainly nowhere near that record of 85, but Overall, pretty seasonal for this time of the year. Our averages sit at 63 and 35. Low 60s on deck into northern Colorado this afternoon. Touch 70 out there in Ray as well as La Junta. Mid 50s in Leadville and then scorching hot yet again for April anyway out there in Grand Junction at 86. Tonight I want to show you the radar and satellite loop as we're watching this storm system cruising across the state. Fairly weak. We're looking at some scattered rain showers for the metro area and yes, a little bit of light snowfall up across the higher terrain. That's the Rocky Mountain National Park. You really have to go way up high to see some of that. But here in the metro area, we just had this nice band of rain showers shift east of I-25, Platteville, Firestone, Brighton, getting a good dose of some rain out there. And then off to the northeastern corner of the state, I-76 driving out there, Sterling Iliff. You're also looking at a little bit of light, beneficial rain. Showers will continue throughout this evening. Wouldn't be surprised if the Denver area sees another round roll in. I'd say 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow temperatures start to soar. We'll be back to the mid-70s and then once again a soggy looking weekend to come. That cold front pushed right on through eastern Colorado. We'll be tracking a few of those showers this afternoon and into this evening and then all of that changes by tomorrow. Warm front rolls through and that helps to bring us some milder conditions midweek and even into Thursday too. So if you're a fan of the 70s, they're coming back. Upper 60s, upper 30s I should say, and low 40s here for the metro area, 20s and 30s up in the mountains. Those showers, thunderstorms quickly escape off to the eastern plains late tonight. They really are going to fizzle out and tomorrow morning we wake up to plenty of sunshine here in the metro area. Cloud cover will start to increase by the afternoon, but those temperatures, they will soar. Again, 70s and possibly some spots into the 80s out east. Tomorrow we'll hit about 77 here in the metro area. Warm Warm, sunny, dry, should be a nice dry, solid dry day for us, but all of that changes Thursday and beyond. 50s and 60s up into the foothills and look at this super seven day forecast for you. Good chance for some storms on Thursday afternoon, especially far northeastern Colorado. Could see a couple turn severe showers roll through Friday and then it is cool and soggy, possibly an inch or more of rain coming our way here in Denver over the weekend. So much